Hi there. This is Katie with the channel Weather Shaman. Welcome if you're new and a big hello to my returning subscribers. Uh, today I have planned for you a pick a card reading. We have pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Allow your intuition to guide you to the pile that you immediately feel drawn to energetically. And this is going to be a what do you need to know right now for the full moon in Taurus and lunar eclipse energies that we have right now, which are very powerful. So beautiful soul, take a moment to meditate on pile one, pile two, pile three, and then I will provide the timestamps below and you can just click to the appropriate pile and it will jump straight to it. Okay, let us begin with pile number one. If you chose pile number one, you chose this beautiful green apophyllite crystal, which means now is the time to do some heart chakra healing and to connect more with nature and the elements. Get outside into nature and do some more earthing and grounding by walking around barefoot on Mother Gaia. This is going to help to balance your body's bioelectromagnetic circuit. It's going to help rejuvenate your mind, body, and soul. Also bring some plants into your home, okay, because this is going to bring in some positive life force energy, some more chi, and purify the environment in your home. And be gentle and compassionate with yourself, beautiful soul. Okay, now is the time for some heart chakra healing. Release any grief or sadness and practice more self-love and self-care and treat yourself to something special. Take yourself out on a date, okay? And treat yourself to your favorite candy bar. Get yourself some flowers. Now is a time for more self-love and self-care. And the first card that we have is growth. Okay, beautiful soul. Now is a very powerful time of growth and expansion. Spread your wings like this unicorn and fly. Now is a time to soar to new heights. Now is a time of expansion. Dream big. Dream big. And never allow anyone to dim your light. Now is a time to let your light shine now more than ever. And to keep soaring above all and any obstacles towards your dreams, goals, and your desires. Now is a very, very, very powerful time of manifestation. What you focus on grows. So be sure you're focusing clearly and precisely on that which you wish to manifest, your dreams, your goals, and your desires, practicing positive affirmations, okay? Listening to 528 hertz, 532 hertz, healing frequencies to help aid you during this time of growth and expansion. And once again, beautiful soul, now is a time to practice more self-love than ever before, okay? During a time of growth and expansion, it can be challenging at times. So be sure that you are taking time out to rest and recharge when needed. Protect your energy. We also have present moment. Okay, now is a time to really get out of the future, get out of the past, and bring your energy back to right here, right now, in this present moment. Trusting that right now, right here, in this present moment, all is well. And you'll never be given too much to handle in the present moment. It's only when you're too far into the future that anxiety manifests. Or when you're too far back into the past that depression manifests. But in the present moment, that's where the gift is. That's where the magic happens, is in the present moment. In this rabbit, this bunny is a spirit animal telling you that now is a time of fertility. New beginnings with the growth and the expansion card new projects coming to fruition okay if you have your own business your business will be expanding to new heights and you will have new collaborations new collaborative projects coming in new love for some of you okay new love in the way of romance which is exciting new beginnings a new fresh start okay also a time of rebirth is what I'm hearing for some of you, okay? Now is a time of rebirth. Now is a time to reinvent yourself and to become your greatest version. And now is a time of blessings. Many blessings are coming your way. So make sure that you are open and receptive to these blessings. Because if we're not careful, we can oftentimes block blessings that come into our lives due to feelings of unworthiness or being distracted by people, places, and things that are no longer serving us. So make sure that you have made room in order to allow these blessings to come in. Blessings in the way of finances, blessings in the way of love, 
Blessings in the way of resources, new opportunities, new doors opening, okay? So you are being showered with blessings. This is exciting, I love this pile. And unfoldment, okay, so something major is unfolding in your life. We have this lotus flower, which is all about that growth and expansion as well. Look at that beautiful flower blooming, okay? You are blooming. Pile number one, you are blooming and unfolding into the greatest version of yourself. So give yourself a pat on the back for how far you've come and for how much you're achieving and you have achieved. You are doing so many amazing things, okay? And now is a time to really connect near a body of water, okay? Because water is going to be very healing for you. Get to a lake, a pond, a stream, or the ocean and just meditate on the water like this lotus flower. Transmute any painful emotions that you may be going through. Allow them to be released and transmuted into love, into purpose, okay? Transmuting pain into power. Transmuting pain into purpose. And also look up at the sky and look at the moon and the sun, okay? And connect with all of the elements and allow yourself to unfold and bloom into your greatest version, okay? And we have the empowerment card. Okay, now is a time to empower yourself. Take back your power. Reclaim your power. Stop giving away your power to people who are not worthy of your time. Stop giving away your power to people who are no longer in alignment with the life you're trying to create for yourself. Okay, now is a time to take back your power. Do some solar plexus chakra healing work. Okay, do some sun gazing. Wear more yellow. Okay, and once again, really practice repeating those positive healing affirmations such as I am empowered. I am creating my dream life. I am dreaming big. I am manifesting my dream career. I am manifesting my dream business. I am manifesting abundance. I am worthy of receiving blessings. I am worthy of receiving my dream life. I am worthy of receiving unconditional love. And it says when you ask the divine to take over, you get pulled into your own authentic power. It's a force of inner love that wants your wholeness and magnificence. Unfold your true and radiant self, beautiful soul, okay? So be fiercely authentic. Be yourself because everybody else is taken. Be yourself and be comfortable with who you are just the way you are. Stop trying to change yourself to please other people. Now is a time to let go of people pleasing. Now is a time to tune out the expectations of others. And just know as long as you're true to yourself and you're happy with yourself, that's all that matters. So now is a time to get back to center and to become whole and back into alignment with your true authentic self rising into the greatest version of you. You are doing an amazing job at life. Beautiful soul pile number one. And this was a beautiful reading. Let me know if you chose this pile and if it resonated with you in the comment section below. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, pile number two. If you chose pile number two, you chose this blue azurite crystal, this beautiful throat chakra healing crystal. This crystal is also wonderful for helping with lucid dreaming and for dream recall. So beautiful soul, now is a time, pile number two, to do some more throat chakra healing work. Wear more color blue, okay? Blue is a type of color therapy. Do some more sun gazing and look up at the beautiful blue sky, okay? And also have a dream journal by your bed and make sure you're recording your dreams because there are many messages being revealed to you in your dreams at this time that apply to your everyday life. Now is the time to also speak up more, okay? Now is the time to speak your truth. Stop suppressing your speech. If you feel the need to speak up in a situation or around a certain individual, now is the time to speak up and make sure your needs are being met and that you are being heard. You have the right to speak up, okay? And the first card we have is friendship. Okay, so some of you may be embracing a new friendship with a special new person in your life or you are reconnecting with old friends that you haven't seen in a while. Now is a time to be more social and get outside of your comfort zone and just be more social and spend more time with the people who love and care about you the most with your true friends. And it's also a time to seek out your soul family, your soul tribe, people who have a like-minded interest as you do and surround yourself with positive people because 
the people we surround ourselves with the most have an impact on us. So be sure you're surrounding yourself with people who uplift you, who inspire you, who are energy generating, who are positive and encouraging. And if there's anyone in your social network that is making you feel drained or less than or just heavy or just, ooh, just not good, now is a time to love those individuals at a distance, set healthy boundaries where needed without guilt or shame. This is a form of self-love and self-care. And we have gratitude. Now is a time to practice gratitude every single day because this is the key to manifesting abundance. We have the Sri Yantra sacred geometry symbol embedded on this tree of life. So if you're trying to manifest more financial security, more financial abundance in your life, now is a time to do a daily gratitude journal. Every single morning when you wake up, write down five things that you're grateful for every single day, even before bed. This is gonna speed up manifestation of more blessings and more abundance in your life. This is something I have been doing in the past few weeks and I've noticed a huge difference in how much I've been manifesting in the way of blessings and financial blessings and it's been amazing. So gratitude is one of the secrets that one uh, or most of the millionaires on this planet use is that they write gratitude journals every day and they know that gratitude is the key that unlocks even more abundance to flow in, okay? So when we show the universe that we're grateful for what we already have in our life, this allows room for more and new and even better things to come in, right? And abundance can take place in many different forms, not just finances, but also in love and in resources, okay, and opportunities. And now is a time of celebration. Okay, some of you in pile number two, it's a time to celebrate because you have many successes in your life. Many of you have overcome some pretty intense, heavy stuff. So give yourself a pat on the back for how far you've come. Now is a time to celebrate your achievements. Celebrate you. Celebrate all of the good things in your life, beautiful soul. What are some things you've achieved in the past year of 2021? Recognize your accomplishments and your achievements and congratulate yourself because you're doing an amazing job at life now is the time to celebrate and we have this full moon in this car which is funny because this is a full moon in taurus lunar eclipse energy reading so now is the time to celebrate and dance under this full moon okay and harness the full moon energies and if you own any crystals now is the time to charge your crystals in the moonlight on your windowsill okay and you can also get a dish of water and charge the water next to your crystals as well and have moon water. But now is a time to celebrate you. Celebrate your achievements, your successes, how far you've come. Celebrate everything you have overcome. And we have now is a time of rebirth. Okay, so many of you in pile number two are going through a major shift in your life, a major rebirth, a major do-over. You're reinventing yourself. You're starting anew. Okay, you've come out of something heavy from your past and you're being reborn into a whole new beginning. This is so exciting. And we have this bunny rabbit energy, which is about good luck, good fortune, abundance and blessings. We have beautiful reading pile number two, a time of rebirth, fertility, new beginnings, abundance, I'm loving this. And we have this butterfly. Butterflies are all about metamorphosis and blooming into your greatest version and spreading your wings and flying and we have change okay so many of you with this pile number two are going through a time of immense change in your lives and just know that this is a time to embrace the in-between to embrace change change can be uncomfortable and scary at times and this is why self-love and self-care is so important okay and just take this change one step at a time one moment at a time Practice the serenity prayer when needed for strength. It goes something along the lines of, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. Okay? So if you start getting overwhelmed with the amount of change taking place in your life, if it feels too rapid or too sudden, just pause and meditate and take a few deep breaths. Do some prayer and meditation. Listen to some harmonious meditation music. Go outside into nature. Connect with the trees. It says, don't scare yourself with the next 40 steps. All you need is that one 
next action. You can say to love, just show me the first step and change me into one who can take it. So this is all about one step at a time, one moment at a time, one day at a time, not projecting too far ahead into the future, okay? Just taking change one moment at a time and embrace change and let go of all resistance. Let go and surrender to the flow. Let go and surrender to the flow. And what helps me if I'm going through immense change to surrender and go with the flow is to get to a river and to just watch the flowing water just move naturally and embrace the change. It's what really helps me. So pile number two, get to a river or body of water if you can. Embrace this time of change and rebirth and growth and be open and receptive to the blessings and abundance that is coming into your life. A beautiful reading. Thank you for tuning in, pile number two. Okay, pile number three. If you chose pile number three, you chose this black tourmaline crystal. This is all about protection. This is all about cleansing your energy making sure that you are setting healthy boundaries where needed with people in your life that may have heavy energy or that may be going through painful emotions. Now is the time to love certain individuals at a distance, protect your energy, and make sure that the people that you're allowing into your sacred circle are people who are in alignment with the life you're trying to create for yourself and people who are energy generating and who love you unconditionally and who celebrate you. And now is the time to make sure that you are taking enough of a time out each day to recharge and rest and practice self-care. All right. And also black tourmaline indicates the need for grounding. So make sure you're grounding your energy field, walking around barefoot, drinking high pH alkaline water, getting organite and black tourmaline around Wi-Fi, around your computers, around your technology as this is gonna help transmute some of the EMFs, the electromagnetic frequencies. Make sure that you are connecting with nature and taking a break outdoors in the great outdoors in nature. And we have the card of possibility. Just know, pile number three, to stay open to infinite possibilities. You can change course and direction in your life at any given time. You are never trapped or stuck in a situation unless you allow yourself to be stuck or trapped in a situation. Now is a time to spread your wings and fly and stay open to infinite possibilities. Remember, you can change the course of your life at any given time by simply just making a different choice each day, okay? Every day we have the ability to take a chance to make a change in our lives by making new choices. And it says, raise your standards, elevate your expectations, and just know you have unlimited potential. Stop limiting yourself. Now is the time to let go of any limiting belief systems, any negative self-talk patterns. Anything can be achieved if you can visualize it. Visualization, visualization is going to be the key to manifestation for many of you, pile number three. So make sure that you create a vision board or that you're just very, very clearly focused on that which you wish to create going forward and manifest. And Metatron's Cube is a wonderful sacred geometry piece that helps me to speed up manifestation. So meditate on Metatron's Cube. Meditate with 432 hertz, 528 hertz. Go outside into nature. Nature is naturally abundant and it reminds us of the infinite potential, the infinite possibilities. This is one of my secrets to getting new video ideas, to expanding my businesses and my growth. I go outside into nature and nature reminds me, hey, anything's possible and there are just unlimited ideas and ways to soar. So get outside into nature and tap back into your unlimited potential. You have everything it takes to make your dreams a reality, no matter what anybody else has told you. Now is the time to tune out the voices of others. Now is the time to tune out the expectations of others. To thine own self be true. Be sure you're being true to your inner voice, your intuition, and to where it is guiding you. And now is a time of balance. Beautiful soul, now is a time to make sure you're doing everything you can to balance the scales in your life. Make sure you're balancing work with play. Make sure you're balancing rest with activity and socialization with alone time. It's all about finding a healthy balance between the extremes. 
as well as a balance between self-love and love of others and time alone versus time with others. Okay, it's all about achieving balance, making sure that all of your chakra energy centers are aligned and balanced. Listen to some ASMR Reiki energy healing videos as I oftentimes include chakra balancing in those videos for you. You can take a listen to those videos and go outside into nature to achieve that balance. Oftentimes, if we're disconnected from nature for too long, that's what can cause disharmony in the body and it can cause anxiety and nervousness and tension. So you're being called to get back into balance, so to speak, to recenter and realign with your intuition, your soul, and just be easy with yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Now is the time to do more meditation. Meditation is going to really help you to quiet your mind and help you to receive all of the answers you are looking for about a certain situation in your life. Be still and know that I am God is a quote that I love because it reminds me that if I'm too busy all the time, that I'm not going to be able to receive the answers that I need to move forward, that I'm going to have a harder time listening to my intuition. So meditation is very, very powerful for stilling the mind, stilling the body, to allow the answers to come in, to strengthen your intuition. And meditation can take place in so many different forms, in the form of mindfulness, where you're just mindfully observing different sparkles in a crystal, which you had this black tourmaline. So if you just look at how the sunlight hits the black tourmaline crystal at certain points, just by observing mindfully this crystal, this is a form of meditation. Walking around on the earth barefoot, that's a form of meditation. Staring at the trees, taking a few deep breaths. This is all gonna really help you, beautiful soul, to quiet down any outside voices, to relax and soothe your mind, your body and soul, and bring you back into a place of healing and balance. And we have meadow vulnerability. Okay, now is the time to get vulnerable and real with whatever it is you're going through on an emotional level. Now is the time to do some journaling. Get honest with yourself about the emotions that you are processing and going through. Journal these emotions, get them out, pen to paper, release them through writing and journaling. And if you have somebody in your close network whom you trust to open up to, get vulnerable with another individual and share what you're going through internally because pain shared is pain lessened, okay? Now is the time to get more emotionally vulnerable and real with yourself. And if you feel safe to do so with somebody else, such as a friend, a therapist, or a life coach, okay? And just open up about what you're going through and then know that once you release this emotional stuff you're going through, you can then transmute it into power to help you soar and move forward into the next chapter of your life, opening up a beautiful meadow expanding infinite possibilities and potential for you okay clearing away the blockages clearing away all the hurdles and making new room and more space for a beautiful bright future and challenges all right pile number three if you're going through some challenges right now just know this too shall pass they are only temporary you will overcome whatever it is you are going through you will soar high above any and all obstacles okay this is just temporary it says unbearable situations throw you directly into god's arms if you are open allow the divine to take over and guide your right actions and allow the divine to remove this burden from you okay and show you the greater plan so it's all about going up above the globe like a bird looking at whatever you're going through from a higher, broader perspective, seeing the overall greater picture as to why this may be happening in your life. Okay, fast forward five years down the line and see, okay, I did overcome this, what I'm currently going through. I will overcome this and everything is okay. Just know that everything's happening in divine timing, in divine order, if there's any delays or detours coming up, this is for your overall protection. And we had this protection stone at the beginning. So you have divine protection all around you. You have angels all around you, pile number three, and you're being guided and protected and loved every step of the way. Just know you are not alone. You have divine support all around you. Just be sure that you are stilling 
yourself. Be still and know that I am God, meaning you are taking time out from the busy world, tuning out any distractions, taking a break from your cell phone, taking a break from social media, unplugging from technology, and allowing yourself to be still. Take a few deep breaths. Let's take a few deep breaths together right now. Breathe in positivity, love, and light. Hold your breath for a few seconds. And now breathe out and release all negativity from your day. Breathe in positivity, love, and light. Hold your breath for a few seconds. And now breathe out and release all negativity from your day. One more time. Breathe in positivity, love, and light. Hold your breath for a few seconds. And now breathe out and release all negativity from your day. Just relax, beautiful souls. In pile number three, let go and surrender to the flow. And remember that you have unlimited potential and you can achieve anything, no matter what anybody else has told you. Dream big and know that you have the ability to soar above any and all perceived obstacles. The divine has your back. The universe has your back. All is well. And this leaf just dropped, which says, drop the rock, let it go surrender to the flow and everything is working out for your highest and greatest good just trust the process i'm sending you so much love pile number three thank you for tuning into this video namaste